Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play Total Annihilation. I am your host, Nerus, and this is Core Mission 2. Now, there's been an overwhelmingly positive response in the thread that has apparently shown that people are greatly in favor of both owls and video LPs. So, I've just gone ahead and I'm doing this uh, second core mission in video. And if it turns, if later it turns out that um, people really, really actually want screenshots, then I can just convert it and do some screenshots. Now, as I said in the first core mission, the core missions in general are harder than the arm missions. This is because in general the arm basic units are better than the core basic units. This is mostly, uh, this is most obvious in the AK. The AK is the basic core unit. Uh, the basic arm K-Bot is that Peepee, we've had three of them run by and attack us before. And this basic, ke this AK is the core version of that. Unlike the Peepee that boasts a very powerful EMG weapon, the AK has this pathetic little laser pistol. Pew! Pew! It does almost no damage. Watch this, I will attack this storm. Take a look at how much damage it does to the storm. Look at that! Each one of the individual peewee shots does about that much damage. That's how bad AKs are. So, cherish what few views you get of AKs, because I won't be building any. Now, right now I'm doing a couple of interesting things. Firstly, you may have noticed me doing this in the second arm mission, I'm queuing up build orders. In Total Annihilation, any command, move command, patrol command, guard command, whatever, can be queued up simply by holding shift. And if you then hold shift, any unit you've selected, you can see the things it's doing, if you have any commands queued up. Secondly, you may remember that back on uh, arm mission one, we had to build metal extractors on special metal deposits in order to get a use out of them. And with those metal deposits were limited in location and quantity. This same is not true on Core Prime. Core Prime, as you can see, and as I believe it uh, stated in the first Core Briefing, is a machine world. It's made entirely of metal. The entire planet, the entire map, is one big metal deposit. And that means that you can build metal extractors wherever the hell you feel like it. And they will work at absolute maximum efficiency, which in this case is plus 2.3 metal per tick. What does this mean? Well, in practice this means that maps on Core Prime are easy as fuck, because there is no resource difficulties whatsoever. Uh, the, res the result for this is that the ease of getting resources actually makes these earlier Core missions a lot easier than they would be if you had limited resources, thanks, to, uh, but still surprised somewhat difficult thanks to the general superiority of arm um, units. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no, don't, no, 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 no. Oh, do I have enough energy? Yes. Right. That thing you just saw me do there was uh, a function of the commander I haven't yet explained. That's the D gun, short for disintegration gun. The disintegration gun eats up energy to fire. Let's see and does that. That line explosion will destroy anything in the game. At all. Anything at all. Every single thing in the game is destroyed by one shot from the D-Gun. As you can see, that wreckage doesn't stand a chance. D-Gun also has reasonable range, making it extremely powerful. However, in order to use it, you have to have your commander in danger. And your commander, if you ever lose your commander, you instantly lose the entire game. So, generally, D-Gun is kind of a last resort weapon. Um, on these earlier maps, it's often possible to just win within a few seconds by using the D-Gun. Uh, that's only if you know where everything is, though, and I'm not sure it would be doable on this map simply due to the huge number of peewees everywhere. Good god. Um, as an additional piece of information, uh, unlike the ARM missions, I do not remember the core missions very well at all. In fact, I have very, very few memories of the core missions. 
probably because I generally prefer playing the arm mission, so I'll stop that. Uh, as a result, most of these are kind of blind. I don't really know what I'm doing. Or rather, I know what I'm doing, because, you know, I've read the... I know how to play the game, and I have read the, uh... Mission briefing, but I'm not sure where everything is, whereas in the arm missions, I generally have a pretty good idea where everything is. Now, the first difference you'll note from the arm missions is that unlike the arm missions where we used K-Bots, the core missions start us off with vehicles. Vehicles fill pretty much the same role that K-Bots do, except that they are tougher and more expensive and less maneuverable. K-Bots can basically ascend slopes that often vehicles can't. K-Bots are also better in close quarters because, as you can see with this guy, really slow turning circle. However, what vehicles lack in uh, speed and agility, they more than make up for in hit points and firepower. Now we have access to four vehicles. This is the Weasel, it's a scout vehicle. Uh, sometimes they're actually worth building, especially at the start of uh, a mission. I started off with two, but as you saw, they died whenever something looked at them funny. Weasels have no health at all. They do have a tiny little laser, which is even more pathetic than the AK's laser, and is generally not worth bothering with. Now, these these guys here I've got are the, I guess, main combat vehicles for early core. This is the Instigator. Uh, if you remember, back in Core Mission 1, we ran into Flash. This is the core version of the Flash. It's not as good. It's pretty good, but it's not as good as the Flash, it really isn't. Instigators have a laser gun. It's actually quite accurate and fairly powerful. Fires with a reasonable rate of fire. It's not as good as the Flash's EMG, but it's good enough to get the job done. This is the Raider. The Raider is the heavy tank for the uh, basic vehicles. Raiders, like all heavy tanks, fire little plasma balls, and they go boom. Plasma balls are less accurate than the instigator's lasers, but they do more damage. This last guy here, which I won't be building any of because Core Prime is, well, for reasons I'm about to explain, is the Slasher. The Slasher is the vehicle equivalent of the Jethro uh, from the arm missions. They are anti-aircraft uh, vehicles, and they fire fast-moving, long-range homing rockets, missiles. As you can see, Core Prime is primarily made up of lots of like trenches and there's very mechanical, chunky terrain and whatnot, which renders long-range missile units completely and totally useless. So I'm not even going to bother with them. Oh god, I am under attack. Fortunately, I have quite a significant number of uh, vehicles. Now you may note in this one that I'm waiting until I've got a bit more in the way of forces before doing anything. Again, that's because I just, I don't know, I really don't know where everything is, and I don't want to have my entire army and my base savaged behind my back. Uh, I'm going to leave this raider and those two instigators there, and I'm going to send these guys up this path. I get the vague feeling the armed base is sort of in here-ish, but I'm not sure I really want to go up there. In fact, I'm going to build a couple of weasels and send them up there and find out what's going on up there. Meanwhile, running into a few peewees, but as you can see, instigators are quite tough. They, they can take a bit of a beating, and they're accurate enough to be able to take out peewees with no trouble at all. They're still not flashes, though. And they never will be. Peewees. Hmm, this is a lot further north than I expected it to go. Um, I might have gone the wrong way. Oh, that weasel has gotten stuck. Pathfinding in TA is not amazing. Now, this is a light laser tower. I mentioned these briefly in the arm missions, but I didn't really build any because I was on the offensive and I knew where everything was. On this time, I'm not quite as offensive, and I don't know where everything is, so I'm going to build a light laser tower. Light laser towers, they, they shoot at things. They fire quite quickly, and they're actually quite powerful. The core light laser tower is actually slightly better than the armed light laser tower. I think it does a little bit more damage, but I think it also costs a little bit more. 
in general, a light laser tower can be expected to be able to destroy huge numbers of PVs, take out maybe, I think, three or four instigators, and can pretty much total any K-Bot that gets into range. In general, longer range K-Bots such as the uh, Hammer and longer range units such as the Raiders, speaking of Hammers, will be able to outrange the light laser towers. Oh, here's the armed light laser tower and destroy them. I'm just going to charge right on in here, which is probably a terrible idea, but I've got the vehicles to do it. Uh, we need to take out that light laser... oh god. Now, here we've run into a little problem with a lot of units. As you may have noticed, when things die, they leave behind wreckage. Now, there's a few things that you can do with wreckage. Um, oh, I found the cable lab. But perhaps the most important thing is, wreckage still counts for as a physical object, which as you can see, instigators are kind of low to the ground and they fire a laser which has no real arc. Which means if there is anything between them and their target, it all goes south rather rapidly. Uh, it looks like there were dudes up there, but that doesn't matter because, oh, oh, there is way too many peewees. Wow, that's a lot of peewees. Um, you know what? K-Bot Lab is right there. I'm gonna send these guys. Uh, I'll build some backup just in case. <laughs> but I'm gonna just try and take it out from here. I'm pretty sure that the AI is not really smart enough to notice that I am attacking the K-Bot Lab and move its units up to defend. No, it's not. Excellent. Oh no, don't attack the Peewee. You'll make it angry. And... Oh god, no, tell me. Oh... It's like the first core mission. The goal isn't just to destroy the K-Bot lab, we have to kill everything. Oh jeez, it's a good thing I started building those reinforcements. Um... Hmm. Uh, pull back for now, guys. Just... Let's take a go up there and start destroying some structures. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. kill that. Um, I'm going to try and expand my infrastructure a bit since it looks like I'm going to need a few more dudes than I thought I was going to need. Just a couple. Okay. Oh, that sounds like a light laser tower. Um, Oh yes, you can also cancel uh, construction orders you placed by just placing the same thing on it again. Oh Jesus, oh no that's not, oh, oh they're all gone now. Bye bye. Raider, you are my last hope with four kills. No, why are you going down there? Well, the units in Total Annihilation are either in the case of the arm, they're supposedly clones, and in the case of the core, they're robots. And it shows. Now, if you watch the Solar Collector's Health, you'll get to see a something I mentioned in the Arm Mission 1. It takes about twice as much da- oh god, no. It takes about twice as much damage when it's uh, open as when it's clutch. There's no light laser tower up there. Right. Um, let's see if we can get some guys in the high ground. Oh, as you can see, uh, my energy production is uh, not quite making up for the additional costs. Uh, solar collector is actually quite expensive energy-wise, and so building them you can sometimes tank your energy production a bit. And yeah, that could be... oh god, there are Roccos up here. So yeah, remember what I said about core missions generally being harder than arm missions? I actually wasn't exaggerating as much as I thought I was. I do not remember the core missions being this difficult. So this is only the second one, Jesus. Oh, get out of the way. Uh-oh. Oh. Ha-ha! Oh. Light laser tower. I'm glad I built you. Why can't I see? Oh, don't, don't tell me. Oh, thank god. Okay, that's just one of TA's weird visual quirks. Uh, because the terrain isn't actually 3D, it's like fake 3D, sometimes the line of sight is a 
bit screwy. A uh, lot screwy. Come on. Hey. Um, I don't think there's actually anything useful up here, but it is nice to get rid of those rockers so they're not shooting at me. Alright, let's grab our next strike group. And you know what, that area is choked with wreckage and corpses. Let's send them around the right, the left. I just said right. Send them around the left. Because most of the things we need to kill are on the left anyway. Um, we're going to put some more units into production. Now, you, you might think that it, I could put some slashes up here and have them shoot down into the arm base, and they would actually be able to reach sort of up to about here-ish, I think, so I could probably pepper the outer defences of the arm. But unfortunately, they've got these great big wall-y things preventing me from really bombarding anything significant. And I'd have to get something up there to get rid of that pipe to get any slashes into position, and then there's line-of-sight shenanigans, and it's just really not worth the effort right now. But, this strike force I'm hoping should be able to clear the deal. Our scouting weasel has detected no enemies behind us, that's good. Kinda wish we'd started back there instead of up here, but whatever. Uh, hopefully there aren't any rockers on this side as well. I'm gonna be a bit upset if there are. Oh god, I heard something shooting. No? I'm imagining things. Uh, note that these kind of vision issues are somewhat unique to Core Prime. Uh, the engine doesn't really handle these sort of really ridiculously steep slopes all that well. You do run into the occasional weird vision glitchy thing in the other maps as well, but generally with more gradual hills it calculates the vision much better. And here's our way in. And I'm actually going to grab there and I'm going to something, and that is order my unit to move into position up there. Now what I've just done is I've ordered, manually ordered the factories to give a move command in a little patrol round here to so avoid pathfinding issues. What that will do is that will cause every unit built by those factories to follow those move commands. Oh god, the command is in the way. Thus, every unit will automatically be given that move command and will move up here and then down along here and end up down here. Which, in theory, should result... What are you guys doing up there? Whatever. Which, in theory, should result in me having a force ready here but if this force is unable to seal the deal. Ah, oh, I got not a light laser tail. Okay, let's try and be a little bit smarter. I'm sorry, Instigator, but you have become a sacrifice. Oh god. Smarter is not working. Um, fuck Smarter, charge. Oh, that didn't go well. Alright, now we're getting some... Yeah, there's not enough army units left to stop me, I don't think. Oh, and then as I say that, I know there are three hammers. <laughs> But they're all going to explode. There's a light laser tower up here I need to take care of. And I think there's probably another one down here. That's right, in the arm mission there are four light laser towers. And uh, the core mission, sorry. And unlike the arm mission where you just have to sneak into the base and kill off the K-Bot lab, in the core mission you gotta kill everything. It's a bit sadistic really. But good, my reinforcements are coming in. I'm going to send them down there to die. Units in TA uh, are expended. Actually, that reminds me, I do want to try something. I don't remember if you can do this in TA. No, you can't. Ignore that. That was just me. 
experimenting. Oh, look at this carnage. Look at this. What about this weird glowing structure? It says it's some energy storage. What does that do? I'll tell you that in our mission three. Come on. Get down there and finish off the hammers. Jesus. Oh, do I have to destroy that as well? Oh, no, you are too close to that energy storage. Get away. Oh, no, 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 no. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, this is... Okay, it's fine. No, it's not fine. Get back. There. There's the victory gongs. Victory. Thank God.